This is how to get the rate constant at different temperatures. When heated to a high temperature, cyclobutane decomposes to ethylene. The activation energy, Ea, for this reaction is 260 kilojoules per mole. At 527 degrees Celsius, the rate constant is K equal 0.0315 per second. Determine the value of K at 577 Celsius. All right. Now, this is where energies of activation actually come from. We get the rate constant at two different temperatures, and you can use this equation one way to actually figure out the activation energy, or once you know it, you can get the rate constants at a variety of different temperatures. So, we are after K2. We are going to subtract natural log of K1, which is 0.0315 right here, and that's going to be equal to negative activation energy, that's 260 kilojoules per mole, okay, divided by R. Uh, we're dealing with energy units, so let's use the 0 0.008314 kilojoules per Kelvin mole, okay? Now, that should imply something to you about your temperature. Temperature should also be in Kelvin. So, T2 is going to be 577 plus 273, so I'm in Kelvin, and T1 is going to be 527 plus 273, so I am in units of Kelvin. So now it's just a calculator fest. Let's see. What do we have here? Let's start with natural log of 0.0315. So that is a minus a minus. So natural log of K2 is going to be added to 3.45777. And that is equal to, let's see, minus 260 divided by 0.008314. A minus 31272, and really that's units of Kelvin that's left, because kilojoules cancel and moles cancel. And then what about this fine specimen here? Let's see, 577 plus 273 gives me 850, and this one looks like it's probably 800. Alright, let's see. This turns out to be a negative 7.3529 times 10 to the minus 5. And that's in units of over Kelvin. So that's good. Those cancel out. Now a little more math. And I am down to natural log of K2 is equal to negative 1.1582. I will take both of these to the e power so that K2 is equal to zero 0.3140 and that's of units of per second. Alright, so that's how the energy of activation might be figured out and how you can use it to get from rate constants at one temperature to another.